All right, welcome back to Paloa, guys. So I uh, pulled these bales out of the, the pull through over there. I'm thinking about stacking them in one of these uh, in one of these sheds. I completely forgot about these two sheds here. Um, one of them would be good when we get another tractor set up like this to have to park this in. But let's go ahead and almost seems to be a little bit more storage over here than the other house. We also got a little spot right there. That actually wouldn't be a bad place for a... For the, um... Oops. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That actually wouldn't be a bad place for the tractor if it'll fit. I don't know if it'll fit in there. Good thing about this trailer is we can just drive right over it. Let's grab this last one. We'll try to flip this out here so we can just set it in there nice and straight. There we go. My dog's going to start barking, watch. She's looking out the window at attention. Alrighty. Well, we got that done. I'm, uh... Kind of wondering if this trailer will just go back in this shed. Might be a little too long. No, it's going to go in easy. I could back it up over there, but for my uh, second grade backing skills, I think I'd rather just park a tractor over there or something. But for now, we're good enough. Now I'll forget where everything's at, watch. So this field, I think, will be ready 
in a couple months and the other one will be ready next month. Um, let's go over here and check it out. If it will be ready, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, take a nap move on into uh, July I think it's next month it might be two months because the only other thing that we really need is some hay um, to get some cows going but we also need a little bit more straw we do have that one Heston bale so I think our field was down here a little bit more. We do have that one Heston Bell, so we can make some TMR. Yeah, this is ours here with all the dead weeds. And I believe, like I said, it was... Now, I need to do this one right here. 82. Yeah, it's still got two months. Oh, no, this one is next month. Okay. And then these... Uh, where are they? These still have another two months. And this is oats. So I guess we can go ahead and move. Move on into next month. All right, let's get back to the yard here, and then we'll move. All righty. We're somewhere near the house here. That's the shop. Our tanker's still sitting all by its lonesome. There it is. You can tell by our pile of sugar beets. Go ahead and hit the sack and then we'll uh, get on up there with the, uh, oh, if it's not raining. Get on up to the other yard with the harvester. And we left the tractor running all night. Nice. I don't think we're going to need a trailer. Oh yeah, I think we will need a trailer. That's right. Let's become our temporary parking. So... Remember, this harvester is very loud, especially with the header on.
Huh. There we go. Hit a button on my mouse on accident and my mouse wasn't working properly. Guess what we could do first thing is top the chickens off real quick. Still haven't fully decided if I'm gonna get rid of them or not. We'll just go ahead and take the other trailer. I mean, I guess if we just keep feeding them and leave them long enough, they'll eventually uh, produce a couple pallets of eggs. We're going to have Bill follow us over to the other yard. I think so, yeah. Good old Bill. Alright guys, I think, uh, I think our field's ready. Let's jump out and look real quick. Uh, it might not be, darn it. Did I miss look at it? Nope, it's growing. Darn it. Well, let's, uh, I swore it said it would be ready. Nah, they'll both be ready next month. Well, son of a biscuit. 155 is ready to harvest. We can do a contract since we're here. I bet you everything's going to be delivered right here. Let's see if it is ready to go. Barley, point of cell grain. Yeah, you know, we might as well just do that and then we'll harvest ours next episode, I guess, since I looked at it wrong. Alrighty. Well, we're here. And it's, uh... <laughs> you literally just haul it to the end of the field and you're done. since we have old Bill here. Oh, we gotta accept the contract, dummy. Let me just make sure that's 155 that we're at. Alright. Kind of works out perfect. Bill stopped. We'll run a quick uh, 
Robert Chamblin around the field. Unexpected change of plans. This actually wouldn't be a bad field for us to purchase. I think if I stay about this height uh, away from the harvester, the the noise isn't over overbearing. guys we got this field almost done um, I, I hope we have enough to satisfy the contract requirements I think we still owed about 8% I think we, I think we will 
but I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more barley than I think the contract's going to give us. Um, I don't know where I went wrong on this part of the field to uh, have such a uh, triangular shape left over. I think after this, we're. I think we'll be able to get the rest of this in. Now we're gonna have to come back down one more time. We'll get the majority of it, but we're going to have a little tiny stretch left over. This field was uh, slightly bigger than I was thinking. It took a minute even though you guys will see it all in a two minute time lapse. It took me about an hour and 30 minutes to do this field. Then like I said, next episode, we'll skip into uh, August and do the other, do our fields. Both of them should be ready then. Let me just go ahead. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me finish this and then we'll empty out. That way we're only going over there one more time. And this field actually had uh, very poor nitrogen levels. And I think it still yielded pretty good. I think this this won't be a bad field for us to pick up here soon when we get the money. I don't know exactly how much it is. I would assume up in the $150,000 range or a little more. too early <laughs> and we'll go ahead and just park the harvester back over here by this uh, by this what's over there the sprayer I think so now the sprayers at the other yard so we'll go ahead Oh, that's our cedar right here. Okay. Well, we'll just leave the harvester right in this area. We're going to need it very soon. In a month. I think, I'm, I, think I am just going to sell all this barley. I'm not going to keep any of it. Yeah, I, uh, I think we're going to get a lit. Oh, yeah, we are getting money. Cool. What do we end up with? So, about 8,700 with the uh, environmental score. Not bad. I'll take it. Plus, when we collect the contract here now, it's going to be about $9,000. I think that's what it was paying us. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'm going to end the episode as soon as we...
collect on this. Oh no, I just accepted another contract. Well, that's not good. Well, I guess we're going to be mowing and bailing silage the first part of next episode. Well, that kind of isn't good. Well. So we're up to 44,000. That's not terrible. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to cancel that contract. It was a mistake, and I don't want to, you know, upset our neighbors, because if we need them in the future. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that first thing next episode, and we may be pushing uh, harvesting and skipping into August until after the, uh, the new contract that we just picked up. But, all right, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.